Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I saw this story out a few days ago and I was like, should I do this one? I'm going to do this story. A uh, civil rights attorney alleges Amtrak conductor tried to make her move to the back of the train. Sherilyn Eiffel claimed that the Amtrak train conductor and agent asked her to leave her seat. No, I, I believe her claims because this sounds like the typical thing happening in America. It's not hard for me to believe. And we don't lie about these things. Usually, we, we generally don't lie about these things that happen to us. So this came out in People, January 19th, 2020. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, civil rights attorney, Charlene Eiffel. So, so she is saying that Amtrak employee asked her to give up her seat and they wanted her to go to the back of the train during the Martin Luther King Day holiday weekend. Eiffel, who is head of the NAACP's legal defense and educational fund, uh, so she did a live tweet. The incident on Friday alleged that the conductor asked her to move her seat with no explanation while traveling from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. At Amtrak, I'm being asked to leave my seat on train 80, which I just boarded in D.C., Eiffel wrote. There are no assigned seats on this train, the conductor has asked me to leave my seat because she has other people coming uh, who she wants to give this seat. Can you please explain? In her next tweet, I full vow, I've made clear I'm not moving. So you can see her tweet here that she did on January 17th, 2020 at 5.34 p.m. Mm -mm -mm. Eiffel then explained to her Twitter followers in another message, just me. She said she has people getting on at other stops. I said, I'm getting off at the next stop. Please follow me, she said. I found a seat for you. What? No. In her next tweet on the matter, Eiffel called the situation bizarre. I left the train at Baltimore and called over the lead conductor and the agent conductor who attempted to remove me from my seat, she explained. I laid it out. She now said she wanted to keep empty seats at the front. Me? Oh, so there's no special passengers? All right, so she... Okay, th this is really Amtrak's fault the way I see it. So this is what she tweeted January 17, 2020 at 6, 11 p.m. This is really bizarre. If... You wanted to reserve those seats, especially the one this attorney was in. Why didn't you just mark the seats or rope the seats off so that nobody could sit there? There were some things you can do. So why didn't they do that? Why did they wait for her to sit there and then start bitching and moaning about her being there? And if there was no marked seats or no indication that those seats were supposed to be empty, then to me, Amtrak don't have a leg to stand on. I laid out the facts and made clear that I know that it's absolutely contrary to policy and unacceptable to pick one passenger from an unassigned seat and demand she move, she added, lead conductor man just has his mouth open. The woman agent conductor now drops her head. Eiffel said that the male lead conductor admitted that he had no explanation for the incident 
and that the female agent was looking frankly unwell. What really disturbs me is how someone with this authority can just entirely make up something so ridiculous and approach a customer in this way, she said. I did wonder when she was carrying on how far I will take this. And the immediate answer in my mind was all the way. So you can see she sent that tweet out also January 17th, 2020 at 628 p.m. When a Twitter user pointed out the similarities from the civil rights history, Eiffel replied, when I was laying her out to the conductor, at one point I said, I can sit where I want and thought, is it 1950? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you can see this tweet also at 6.48 p.m. The next day, Eiffel noted that Amtrak was now following her on Twitter, but had yet to make a formal apology. Amtrak then tweeted to her, claiming that they had been trying to reach out to her via the information they had on file, but were unable to reach her. Later on, Eiffel said that she talked to various officials at Amtrak who apologized for the incident. I will say that in my phone conversation this morning at Amtrak officials were respectful, forthright and apologetic. And of course, this is the rub. An act of public disrespect warrants a prompt public response. I think they knew, I think they knew this, but it still wasn't done. Okay, so she sent this tweet out on the 18th of January at 1.41 p.m. Mm -mm -mm. Eiffel said in another tweet, I am colossally disappointed in Amtrak for both this incident and the way it was handled. But this is em emblematic of how companies so often fail in this space. I will submit a more formal complaint and closely monitor the review of this incident, of the conduct of the employees. In her final tweet on the matter, Eiffel thanked her followers for their support. Keep fighting and honor hashtag MLK this weekend. It's about our individual dignity, the strength of our communities, and the integrity of our democracy, she wrote. A spokesperson for Amtrak did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. <sighs> you know, I, I just don't see how Amtrak could even possibly be right in this whole situation. You know, I notice they do this a lot in business. They want to be able to do things to you and forego giving any kind of explanation. And that just doesn't fly. That's not going to work with a lot of people, you know? And you're telling her to move from a seat that had no kind of indication on it that it was reserved, but you are saying move. And what is she supposed to do? Just get up and move? She's a paying customer. And she should never have been treated that way. If the conductor and the agent that was on board, the train knew they wanted those seats to be open, then it should have been some kind of indication. That way nobody would have went over there and sat in certain seats. But the fact that they did not do that, I don't see how they can get around this. You know, she got every right to sue them. She got a damn good leg to stand on. I think Amtrak screwed this one up big time. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. But, you know, this is the sign of, you know, the times that we live here in America. 
you know, you are given directions and expected to just follow those directions and no explanation need. You just do what we say. We told you what to do. Do what we say. You know, you know, uh, uh-uh. no, y'all. Mm-mm. And you know what? They also pick a lawyer to do this on. Woo, man. She gonna drag their ass and I don't blame her. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.